my name is Jesse Monahan, and I'm a senior. Have you ever wondered how chemical reactions and equations occur? Well, today we're going to learn about net ionic equations. These are used to show only the ion and molecules that are specifically involved in the equation. Spectator ions are an ion that is present in the equation, but it does not react. Insoluble is a product that is considered a solid or it doesn't react in the problem. It is indicated with a down arrow or brackets that have a small s in it. Soluble are products that do react in the equation. So main ideas are that you must balance the equation. If you don't balance the equation, you might not get the right answer. For example, if you have two sodium atoms on one side and one on the other, well that doesn't work. You need to have two and two or three and three. To determine how solubility works in the equation, we need to use solubility rules. Some products that are soluble is acetates, halogens, and alkali metals. Some that aren't soluble is hydroxides, carbonates, and phosphates. And if both of the compounds are aqueous, then it's a no solution. So for my first problem, we can clearly see that it's no solution because both are aqueous. This is calcium sulfide and potassium bromide, which are both aqueous. But then when we react, they're both aqueous because bromide is a halogen and the potassium is an alkyl metal. Now to my example. As you can see here, we have potassium phosphate and magnesium chloride. Well, what's the product? The product turns out to be potassium chloride and magnesium phosphate. But wait, it needs to be balanced. So down here, we realize that we need two phosphates. So we put that in front of the potassium. And we also need three magnesium. So we put that in front of this, magnesium chloride, which gets us to having two times three, which is six, and three times two, which is also six, for potassium chlorides. Now that we have an equal amount of products, we then can cancel out what is common, which is the, carb the chlorides and the potassiums. So then our end product turns out to be three magnesiums, which are plus two, and phosphate, which is a minus three, which turns out to be magnesium three and phosphate two. Thank you for looking at my application.